This is BBC World News, I'm Owen Zone and here are our top stories. A handful of children have been reported missing in the area of the Mega Pizzaplex. Of course, I don't know how many a handful is because I don't usually measure the amount of children in handfuls. I guess you could if they turned into trash like that girl all those years back, but nobody really believes that. Everyone knows it was a hoax. In other news, a girl who broke into a hospital has turned into trash. What a load of rubbish. Uh, this story is a bunch of scrap. I actually used to be a trash collector. It was a hard job at first, but you pick it up as you go along. Then I dumped it for this job. Finally, last week it was Maya's 17th birthday. Congratulations, Maya. I hope you had a great day with your family and friends. Just know that the world celebrates you. Now onto the section of the news that nobody cares about, the statistics of the global outbreak in cancer. In terms of the cancer pandemic, China is still in the lead with an average of 342,128 daily deaths. The United Kingdom has introduced a mass cremation law, which if I'm being completely honest with you, they should have introduced centuries ago. Scientists in the United States aren't working on a cure because instead they are on stupid television news channels and racing Roxanne Wolf on her speed bumps if you know what I mean. That's pretty much all I need to talk about but uh, we will let you know immediately if there is another Covid outbreak. Now are we living in a simulation? It's a question that we've all had since we were children. But with the growth of our capabilities in virtual and augmented reality, are we starting to get a better understanding of how our world might be simulated like a video game? Today we have Dr. Ozoni Zone in the studio to discuss his recent findings in his new book, Hello World. Dr. Ozoni Zone, welcome. My pleasure. So you spent the past 50 years studying the human soul and its capabilities outside of a host body regarding the theories of quantum immortality and the possibility of the existence of parallel universes. What is the evidence to suggest that we are being held hostage in an inescapable world with a higher power controlling everything that we see and do for every day of our lives? Well, there's no evidence. I just like the idea. Isn't the point of being a theoretical scientist to generate theories using the scientific method based on evidence to support a hypothesis instead of disregarding ideas due to it being subjectively poor or glorifying ideas in opinionated favouring? Yeah, but sometimes the evidence doesn't really matter. What you may think of as a piece of evidence may just be a red herring. So what is the evidence to suggest that a piece of substantial evidence in the real scientific-based world is actually a deception? Well, the evidence for that is also a red herring, and here is where you need to see the loop. If God created the world, who created God? Who created God's God? Who created God's God's God? In my new book, I discuss the potential for an infinite loop in video gaming. My past research suggests that when you die, your soul attaches to a new object. So let's say your soul attaches to a video game. Boom! You are now in the video game. And if you can find the video game in the video game, the loop can go on and on, but you can never escape. I have never seen a Pac-Man in our world because he is trapped in his world. Okay, well, we have some questions for you that have been submitted from the viewers. So let's take a look and see if you can answer them. We have Cassidy, who is four years old, and she asks, does that mean I can be a princess when I die? Absolutely. Uh, death is a wonderful thing. It is an art and it is an honor and it brings people together. But I am being told in my ear right now that I just shut up. So uh, I'm going to say, why don't you be a princess when you're older, Cassidy? Okay, now we have a Margie who says, a boy I took care of died of cancer a few years ago, so how do I unlock him on Mario Kart? Well, it's not really that simple and I still need a lot more research to do, but I am sorry for your loss and I hope your family is doing okay. And uh, on Mario Kart, if you actually hold the accelerate when it's, the two is fading, you actually get a speed boost. Okay, Dr. Ozone Zone, thank you for joining me and answering our viewers' questions. That's it from us at BBC News. Check out my socials. I've been Owen Zone and have a great evening. Goodbye.